This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Welcome you to the campus of uh, Lady Mount Camel and a matchup today between the St. Francis Panthers had a record of 22 and 4, first in the MIA rate division at 8 and 1, up against the Mount Camel Krugers and a record of 7 and 16, 3 and 9 in the MIA conference, 1 and 7 in the BCLs. This is a BCL matchup as well as a MIA conference matchup. So, Mount Camel wins a tip as it goes out of bounds and rushing inbound it right over the bird. The two teams met late November. A game in our archives on the Dice Winning Network. This is the February run to the playoffs. A matchup with St. Francis. That's a backcourt violation. Ball back to the Panthers for them to start off. In that matchup, Mount Camel got off to an early start. Stanton starting the day. Jumper tipped and missed to West. Offensive rebound to Murphy. It rolls in for him. Two points to start. Matchup where Jordan Tolles dominated the second half of it and got St. Francis to a very easy win, opening night at home. Turn over there. Murphy all alone. He puts the two in. First four points to the senior center. And it's 4 nothing for St. Francis here. The rushing. See this? You can talk. I'll say you can talk to me. Okay. Pressure. You sit back, they play. Perfect. Perfect tempo right now for St. Francis on defense. Curry literally had to run the baseline and he turned it over, stepping out. So good defense so far by St. Francis. Here on the road, SD Ace has the ball. Stanton. West. Hey, since trying to jump or miss. Gotta get in there. Murphy with the offensive board. Kicks it back out to Stanton. Oh, it down to West. And an early 6 0 lead for the Panthers. Pull up. Hits it. Early shot there for Russell. And it's a 6 2 affair. Both teams playoff seating views for the BCI and MIA. Up, In all likelihood, Mount Kelma will be Bogdan couldn't finish. Offensive rebound. Oh, Murphy was in there. And a foul, first team foul against the Cougars. Eight teams will make it out the MIA A conference playoffs and Mount Kelma and St. Francis could be meeting each other. And a playoff preview. West, Ace, Stanton, Murphy, missed a one hand dunk. Curry, now back over to Little. Little blocked away from Murphy. Fast break time. West, and broken up. Ball broken up. It's going to go back to St. Francis on their end. 6-2 game. Here early in it. The ace with it. Out of you. Missed it there by Wes. He was looking to go super on his super Sunday. Here today. He enjoyed the game last night. Checked it out. Checking us out here on the Dice Fan Network tonight. And it's run to the playoffs. Fakes it. Rebound, And that one goes. A nice three is a one point game. The ace again with it. Stanton from downtown. Rebound. 
tipped and missed. And the rebound back over to Mata. That's from way. That was from East Point Mall. And that three goes. And Mount Carmel with an 8-6 lead. As you've seen him last week against Patterson here on the Dodge Swing Network, this team is definitely not the same one that we've seen in early November. The ace from Axis. And who puts it in? So two threes from each side. And it's a one-point lead for St. Francis. Defending BCL champion of a year ago. Drive inside the floater by Perry. Not enough air in it and a miss. Rushing and he traveled. Traveling the ball back to St. Francis. St. Francis, five of the next seven days got games. This matchup here you've seen. You see it on Monday Night Boys Latin, it'll be done already. Floater, that one didn't go. Offensive rebound on the deck. And my camel out of bounds. Ball's going to stay with the Cougars. Cougars with their home white jerseys on here. In the Sunday day game. First Sunday taping of five in a row here on the Dodge. Right now, that one's tipped. It's going to stay with Mount Camel again. Shot clock at 25, again clock at 352. Ball went all the way back there. So rushing. Looking to inbound. Three in the corner. Hits it. So Perry made him pay for leaving him by himself. And it is 11-9 game for Mount Camel. Fakes it back. Fakes, fakes. Inside the West. Puts it in. And we're tied at 11 early. 3.30 here left in the first quarter. Back comes. Inside that one blocked away. The ace getting the rebound. Roll it under the court. Stanton, Bogdan couldn't handle it. Bogdan gets it back now, thanks to West. And a three second call. Well, foul, let's see. Nope, time out. Start off. I don't like it was a three second call, so we're tied at 11. They're in this one early. Open. Yeah. Adam on. Yeah. 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 They were. Once they run up tempo. Yeah. Yeah. Right back to game action. I do apologize. The call was against Mount Camel, so St. Francis will keep the ball on their end. Back over to Stanton again, the ace. Fakes the shot here. Inside, that one didn't go. And it's going to go to Mount Camo as Bogdan tipped it out of bounds. As we're taping, one of the only games in the state here in the area. Bullis is playing down there. Prince George's County and fakes it. Minor. That's Goretti and Mount St. Joe's. And double dribble there, and the ball goes back to uh, St. Francis. By halftime, we should have an update on that one, see what's going on with it with Mount St. Joe's and uh, Goretti. How about Loya the other night? And one of the only handful of games that happened, Loya went down to the Smith Center and got the big win, first win in a decade against Mount St. Joe's for Loya Blakefield. Takes it, swings it, shoots it, hits it. Chad Brown with the three and gives St. Francis a three point advantage. And from this game with IND and Mercy on the girls' end, went to IND. Little Ryan Street after the loss. You've seen him last time against the line. Rushing almost lost it. He kept it. Shot clock at 10. Edwards had it. 
And then the ball slips out of Little's hands. He still keeps it. Three, two, and got bailed out with a foul call. And two and four left in the first as substitutions coming. Put it down. They're in this day game atmosphere. That's a three from Perry. That one tipped and missed. And they ace. Almost got intercepted, but Alexander gets the ball. The freshman holds. And the ace swings it back to Brown. Why not? At Brown! With two straight threes of his own. And it's a 17 10 affair. 128 left there in the court. Inside rushing. Lost it. Brown snatches it away. Becomes the ace. The ace. And a foul. 13th foul against Mount Camel. There's the ace coming in at the line to shoot two. Let's check out the Flex Zone's newest show, Goofy Central. Already episodes up on the Facebook and the YouTube page of the Flex Zone. Show us how you want it when you need it. And as well, there's more episodes of Goofy Central coming your way. Goofy Central. Thin line between goofy and great. Don't be on the wrong side of it. The ace hits them both. It's an eight point advantage now for St. Francis. Turned it over. Brown has been magnificent here in the first. Alexander. Chad Brown, why not? That three didn't go that time. Offensive rebound as Stanton was blocked away. And St. Francis will keep it. 55.2 left in the quarter. Back over to Alexander. Ace from downtown. Tipped and miss. And the rebound over to Edwards, but it got stolen right back. Montague, swing pass, Alexander. Stanton for three, no good. Rebound back over to Edwards. Pressure defense. Swings it back over. Picked off by Alexander, he's trying to get it. The Dukes. Shot clock is off. St. Francis. And picked off. Layup is good. Edwards. What a huge layup. 5 4. Alexander. To the ace. 3 2. One, no good. After one, 19-13 game here for St. Francis. As in this one, getting ready for the big matchup against Boys Latin on Monday. Taping, and it'll be on this channel Tuesday here on the Dice Learning Network. We will have that one for you coming up here. We have not forgotten about the uh, matchups we had at the third day of the basketball academy. We have one of them up. We are still working on the other ones, getting them up to you here on the Dice Running Network now. It's a huge month of February as the February run to the playoffs continues on. They say we'll be throughout the area. And a lot of makeup dates have uh, impacted. The high school schedule, our schedule as well. Open up some dates. And we'll be coming at you with some of them huge matchups coming your way here on the Dice Running Network. Coming up here in the month of February into March. ECL and uh, MPSSAA finals. Down at University of Maryland coming your way. So we have it all for you. Chad Brown opens up the second quarter for St. Francis, up by six, 19 to 13. 
Mars out here with you on this Super Sunday as we are taping. Swings back over. Murphy inside. Alexander to Baldwin. Back over to Brown for three. He's three for four from long distance. Chad Brown going as strong today. 22 to 13. <laughs> that works. Not coming, just put a hand out. Curry breaks a double team, drives inside, couldn't finish. Murphy with the rebound. Back over to the ace. The ace. Nice bound to back pass. What? Slams it down in the middle. Time out there by Mount Camel. West throws it down and gives St. Francis their biggest lead at nine so far, 24. 13, 7, 12 here left in the first half. Yes, it was a nice throw down indeed. So, out the timeout. I'm out, Camel. We're going to get the ball back. Trying to see what they're going to do here on offense. All right. Back over. That's a long distance three by Little. That one didn't go. Out of bounds, and the ball's going back to St. Francis as. Dukes wasn't able to grab the rebound there. He's back over. Alexander. It's a three. No good. Okay, so the ace blocked from behind by Thorns. Thorns. Pressure. Turns it over. Ground to the ace. Ace kicks it back to Alexander. Alexander back over. Inside. Baldwin back over. Brown. Alexander. Back over to Murphy. Murphy. And he travels. Nice pass, Rip, but maybe one pass too many. 24 13 game. The nine point affair as Perry brings it up. Ace. And Alexander gets the turnover. Back over to Brown. Back to the ace. Baldwin. Back to Brown. Brown shoots again. That one spinned out that time, though. And oop. St. Francis gets a break as the ball will stay with him. He was tapped out. By my Kelma player. West, long pass, but Brown got it. To the ace. Over to West. Swings it back over. Shot clock at 23, got plenty of time, and Alexander. As it fakes it over to Brown. Brown back over. Go to the ace. That's a three. Brown tipped and miss. Three for six now from outside as Chad on. Rushing. Gets the rebound. Kicks it over. Wide open three. That one did not go there. For Dukes and the ball back to St. Francis. 5.25 left in the first half. Nice crowd here this afternoon at uh, Mount Kelmo Gymnasium. Congrats to Rob Long and his girls getting it done up in New York. Hopefully we will get them in two weeks in the IAM B Conference Championship game. Alexander hits the three. 27-13, biggest lead here for St. Francis. In this rematch game. Drive. Swings, three, hits, 
Nice three there by Miner. Lead still 11. That's a three. That hits back by the ace. And rushing, but like he twisted his foot. And they have an injury, and it's going to be an injury timeout. Quick injury time out there. 4.42 here left in the first half. It's a 30-16 game. As not quite like the first matchup was where the rails came off the, the track quickly in that one. And the train just moved. We got a much more competitive game, which we figured we would. But uh, Mount Kelmo here at home in this matchup. And again, they have improved. I said we've seen them last week against Patterson and they Maybe it's the whole the hand. He might look at the song like, oh, Maybe the rest of the line. Drive inside, layup goes in to spin it in. How about that by Miner? Spin that ball in. 30-18. Alexander swings it back. That's a three. That's an air ball. Air ball from Smith, but offensive rebound. West fakes it. Goes inside. Miss. West tapped it in. That was good there. 32-18. Drive inside. And that's a foul before the shot against St. Francis. Second team foul. Alexander is the ace coming back in. A lot of games with St. Francis here in the next week. They got five out of the next seven. We we'll give some guys some rest, at least getting ready for the matchup for the big one against Boys Latin, which will be played on Monday. We're taping on Monday and bring it to you here on Tuesday. Okay. Brings it back over. Lost it. St. Francis gets it back. 340 here left in the half. It's the ace. Brings it up. Ball went for three. That one tipped and missed. Again, Stanton with the offensive board. Looking for West. Kicks it back. The ace swings it to Stanton. Stanton from downtown. Hits it! 35 18. Back over. Minor tipped and missed. Offensive rebound there by Dukes. But then he lost it. Then it was tapped. Murphy was trying to pass it out. That's a foul. Little. That's the 14th foul against St. Francis to be inbounding the basketball. 2.48 here left in the first half. Double. Snag home. Swings it. That's a three. That hits. Minor with the three ball. 35 21. Stand again. Tipped and miss. Foul off the back against Montague. And the ball back to uh, Mark Emma. Thirty-five, twenty-one affair. St. Francis ranked number four in the 
Bottom of Santa Cruz is first net pose as we speak now. The boys Latin has been on top in the top three for the last couple weeks. You will, you will see that one tomorrow night. That's a good one. That's a pick. And for Brown, that's two points for him. 27-21. That's a three. Tip the mess. Offensive rebound. That's a three. That one didn't go either. Rebound over the stand. Out of bounds from the state of St. Francis. 136 here left in the half. Bogdan, he's fouled. No doubt. One thirty-five left in a half. And the matchup is huge in the BCL. So Mount Kelman. Right now, their seating is six. Playoff started today. They were getting the, uh, one of these three teams in the BCL. Their playoffs will be coming up in another month from now. Actually, a month from today will be the final as we're taping. It's the first one goes. Just got word that will be up in Loyola, back at Loyola University. First time in a long time. And we'll be there for the semifinals, which will be on that Friday, and then the final will be Sunday, so we're going to give the kids a break on that Saturday. Break is probably also for weather, in case the weather situation happens. 127 here left. Let's get back over. The chair was pulled by Minor. Somehow the ball got in Edwards' hands. He was able to keep it. Swings it, shoots it, hits it. How about Minor with the three? Quick timeout by Mount Campbell. 104 left. It is a 15 point lead for St. Francis. 39 to 24. Again, it's been a very entertaining one. BKD-TV, website with sports list. More articles coming your way on there. And check it out there. BKD-TV, website with sports list. Apparently, this ace is back in the game. A lot of reserves playing today. Again, again, St. Francis again. This is the first game they have played in six days, and now they're going to play five out of seven. And as we're taping, two Mount Carmel has a makeup game with McDonough on Monday evening. Which is already. So, so again, the weather. Last couple of weeks have uh, been an issue. It will not be an issue, at least for the next couple of weeks. We have seen as uh, even uh, a peak of spring weather will be coming later on. This time. But back to game action as the ace brings it up. And the ball out of bounds. Brown back over to Bogman. Bad it, almost turned over. Swings it back over. That's a three. That one hits the back over. Fast break time inside. No good. A foul is called. Wow. They counted that as a goal, 10. I don't know if I fully agree with that either. The ball uh, never went in the rim. So 36.2 left. The shot clock and game clock. About a second. Two temps difference. 
Alright. Al Kelmo got a gift there here on this Super Sunday. Uh, she's seen it on this Monday evening. That is an offensive foul. So the shot clock is off now. 27.1 left. Malcolm with a three can get this lead within 10. One in and a half. Pull up jumper. Blocked away. Hey, saved it. A nice move, Alden. Over to West now. That's the half coming to a close. That's a three. That one missed. Rebound three. Two. Will not get it off in time. So at the half, St. Francis has control the pace of this game. They're up 39-26 at the break. We'll be back with the second half of this one. Here on the Dice Way Network, you stay tuned. Second half about to get underway, and it has. I'm out here with you. On February 1 to the playoffs here on the Dice Sony Network. And Mount Calmo has the ball down by 13. They're against St. Francis at home for them. That three did not go. And the ball back to St. Francis. Ace with it now. Baldwin, back to Stanton, back to the ace. Murphy almost didn't get it, but he did. That three didn't go. Offensive rebound back to Stanton, the fresh shot. West, Murphy. Ah. Foul is called off the ball against Mount Kim. Uh, that finish would have been great. Inside the ace, put it up and it went off the back on and missed. Run back over to Edwards. And now back to Perry. Minor. Perry. I was say, no way he was shooting that far. He shot it there, no good. And then we got a whistle against Mount Kelmo, I believe. So St. Francis gets it back. Update as we're doing this in person. We'll give you a full quarter update. And uh, we're ready as West puts up the jumper. No good. Balls everywhere. Still under the basket. Finally, Mount Camel gets out. Coretti is up on Mount St. Joe's by eight. We'll get the final score that one shortly. As for Mount St. Joe's, four row games in the next seven for them. As a lot of their schedule has been backloaded. Block! And Little was unable to get the finish, but the ball back to Our Lady Mount Camel on the left. Turned it over. The ace. With it now. Nice behind the back pass, maybe. And turned over. Now the fast break is in Mount Camel's favor. Two points goes in. There for Perry. Lead back to 11. The ace. Got it pitched from him. Back the other way. Block from behind is West. Off of Dukes. And the ball back. St. Francis. The ace is on the other end. He's down. Ball looked like he got right away poked in the eye. So take it off of that. We will let you know off camera what happens.
The ace back up. Rasha Jones making his first appearance in the contest. <laughs> but it's like, it's not like a baby one. Work on the ace there. I believe the ace will be all right. This is an 11 point lead as Mount Camel gets the ball back on their end. Oh, that was, that was real close being a lot. Real close. Curry. Mount Camel trying to get the lead back to single digits. And side blocked away, West. Got it with the rebound. Fast break time. West bringing it out. Back over to Rasha Jones. First handles of the afternoon. That's nice evening. Swings it all the way over. Stanton put it back on the ground. It's going to stay with St. Francis. Shot clock at 20. 10 clock at 528. So. I said Jones, amazing game against Polly. That's a three from West, spent out. Baldwin with the offensive rebound, that didn't go. Ball batted, West grabs it. Side offensive foul. And again, the ball back to Mount Kimmel. And it's an 11 point lead for St. Francis here. Off the screen now, double team. Back over inside, reversal, and a foul. Two shots coming up here. Uh, Brother Dukes. First shot to get it. No good. Second shot here. Get the lead within 10. And dust. 29 39. 10 point advantage. Jordan Toes in the game for the first time. So rest this one, their action that they was not in the game in the first half. That's a three from Jones. That one I missed. Toes is looking to go get in the air. Jump ball. St. Francis will get bailed out. And get Back over. Jones! Off! Final shot. Jordan Toes at a right at the bad offensive rebound and the foul is called. And two shots coming up. Jordan Toes at the line shooting too. He's a two-star athlete. Two sport athletes. You know, two stars. Definitely plus the four and a half to five. And they are. Uh, taping the ace up here. And, uh, second shot, no good. I said Jones, the offensive boy, fresh shot clock. That's a three from Toes. It spins out. West, long arms. He's shooting up here. So the injury to Agent Ball in the ace. Uh, taping up his eyes. And, uh, Score, please. There's a sun irritation. First shot for West. Got it. It was a 30 29 affair. That's our first point to the court. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
guess. It's been a stalemate in the corner here for the last couple. That second one bricks off. So a game where my full start St. Francis will have it fully in the back. As this three hits it, that's big time for Perry. And all of a sudden, it's an eight-point game. So as we've learned in the game of basketball, in any sport, but especially in basketball, nothing is guaranteed. Toes he's shooting to. St. John's and Paul six. That matchup going on. St. John's trying to pull off an upset win there in the WCAC. Once again, the ace take up. Has to leave out. And that's not a good sign if you're St. Francis for them all. Game against Boys Land. 41-33, lead back to eight. Swings it. Shoots it. Perry. Tipped and miss. And then St. Francis gets the rebound. Oh, there. Mr. Buster. Inside is Jordan Toes. That was Buster with the dunk inside right there. Jones, excuse me. Two shots. Then the ace. Getting laid out. And, uh, a lot of folks know what's uh, going on with the Baldwin family. Best wishes to them. Second shot here. Got it. Lead back to 10, 32-42. Again now gain that the ace, Agent Baldwin's not in. Inside, and a foul is called. So Morrow's coming to the line for Mount Camel and shooting two. I just realized. Uh, <laughs> Tough. Tough, man. Second shot in there. So one of two. Still a nine point game. Toes. Pulls up. Shooting two again. 16 foul already against Mount Camel. One more is going to be the one and one. That's the good news for St. Francis. They got to hit them free throws though. Really take advantage of it. Second shot is in. So there's a one of two there, and it puts the lead back to double figures at 10. And Mel, back over, dish inside, he got picked off. Alexander, looking to bring it. Rashid Jones, and a foul off the ball, and if it is, it's a 17 foul. So many one and one. Okay. 
First shot goes. Thank you. Second shot goes in, so both of them go in. We got a 12 point lead, 302 left. Picked up by Alexander. And then he fouled, 18 foul. And that's Mount Kim. Paul Six pulls it out against St. John's here, 61-60. Keeping that matchup with them and Demantha on Monday as well. First of their two meetings. CAC inside. That one goes in. Nice there by Morrow. Lead to 11 still. Mail back over. Brown was looking to shoot. Alexander has it. Got the ball so far to court. I almost couldn't keep up with it. Kicks it back. That's a three. That one tipped and missed. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's going to go to Mount Camel. I thought it hit it off a Mount Camel player. Back to St. Back to Mount Camel, excuse me. Still a 46-35 uh, affair. All right. Gives it up to Little. It was tapped away. It's going to stay with Mount Camel as a minor. Pass was intercepted. Little. Now Perry he brings it up. We will keep an eye on all the big matchups tomorrow night here on the Dyson Network. That's turned over. Alexander back to Toes. And Toes got it tapped out of bounds. Ball back to the Panthers. 202 left in the third. Jones for three. That one tipped and missed. Back over the other way. Cross over dribble inside. Missed the layup. Alexia Jones brings it back. Jones. And a foul is called. 19 foul against Mount Campbell. Two shot. The 101 excuse me, coming up. First shot in there. Lead up to 12. Second shot, got it. Drives, swings it, that's a three. It's a big three there by Dukes. Lead back to 10. So unlike the first meeting, this one much more closer as the fourth quarter looms long. Alexander. Under the legs, toes. Locked from behind. There by Edwards. Ball's going to stay with Mount Camel. The game where, again, a lot of people thought, as the first meeting was, the train be rolling for St. Francis. It's rolling, but it's not rolling like I think a lot of people thought it would. A 
again a foul off the ball against uh, St. Francis. 106 left in the third. Back over to Perry, here we go. Perry, Ali, ah! Oh. Costly turnover there by Mount Camel. Got a little, got a little fun fans there, as they would say. Rice Jones back over to Alexander. Toes. Inside. Shooting two. Temp team foul against Mount Camel. That means for the rest of this one, it's going to be a lot of shooting free throws. Yeah, for St. Francis. Huh? That's not right! Are you trying to... We should be up 20. Good shot, 10 there. If you keep... We've been to the free throw line 10 times. Are you... Can't be the double agent. <laughs> Second shot in there. Both of them goes. 50-38 game. Nice escape and a nice finish there by Mr. Little. Lee still at 10, 50, 40. Shot clock and clock is equal to each other. Toes, Jones. Check the miss. West and one. Jamal West working it hard out today. And they have one. Here to come up. And one goes. 53 to 40. And a 15 foul against St. Francis. Ball on the deck. Three, two. Alexander puts it up. And it got close, but not there. So after three is 50 to 40. 53 to 40, excuse me. St. Francis in the lead. Trying to extend that record to 23 and 4 here on the season. Man. Next games are coming here on the Dice Ray Network includes uh, Boys Lightning against St. Francis here on Tuesday night. Dice Ray Network. Later on this week, Wild Lake, Patterson, makeup game from for early in season. What's been the opener for both teams? And Howard County had a closing early, so it pushed this game back to February. And how big it has become, Patterson, top team in Baltimore City. Wild Lake, right there. One of the top two teams in the race at Howard County. And that should be a good one in the battle of two A schools on the Dietary Network coming up. And then next Sunday, we'll be at St. Francis. It's homecoming. And it's going to be the last home game of the season, looks like, for the Panthers against another Panther, a rematch of a game we did on Mount Luther King's birthday with St. Vincent Pilate coming in town. And we'll have that one here on the Dice Ring Network as well. A lot of action coming your way. Try to also get them games from the, uh, say, maybe have a Saturday premiere with them three games to see the, take a look at the action. It was good action up there at the time. So the fourth quarter, about to get going. St. Francis trying to get it done here. And of course, the story out of this one's going to be the health of Adrian Barnes Jr., the ace. I poked in the eye early in the third. Had to be taken out to go to a local medical facility as the ball goes back to Mount Carmel there. 
Hopefully you'll be ready for the boys Latin matchup. As you know, boys Latin, Cam and Watts, Toys ACL. Oh, put the game away. He'll be uh, he's done for the year, sadly. So we'll hear news like that, no doubt. A huge game. Boys Latin, probably their biggest regular season game in their history. Yeah, we're gonna have it for you here on the Dive for you. That book coming up. Drive. Swings it. That's a three. Yeah, spins out. Thorns had a wide open shot. Did everything but go in. Jones. Murphy. Let's see what Murphy tries to do. Had to kick it back to Toes. Toes shooting two. <laughs> Toes at the line, shooting two. First shot from the junior. Hits. Second shot here. Follow it. Good shot. Got it. 15 point lead for the Panthers. Six fifty five left in this. Right. Nine on the shot clock. Swings it. Got to do something with it. Pick City. West intentionally fouled. the right call an intentional foul. First shot goes. Both shots go. Inbounds, Rashid Jones. That was an air ball, West with the offensive ball. Toes, face the shot. Screen, toes inside. Good now elevate for the layout. Murphy, he's shooting a pick. Dump the ball! McCoy. Let me game all that much and found out. Murphy missed the first. Second shot is in. 18 point lead now, is this one? Now? On the take shape. Stanton with the interception, he lost it. Our first turnover out of bounds back 
to Our Lady Mount Carmel. I want to thank Our Lady Mount Carmel, the hospitality here in this one. Definitely appreciate it. Six minutes left in this one. This one go have a little good time at the Super Bowl. Stanton with a steal. Puts it up. Puts it off. Biggest lead of the game. 20 point lead for St. Francis. 60 to 40. And this one looks like the, is in the bag at the moment here for the Panthers. Trying to get the record of 23 and 5. St. Francis, believe it, our first game since they played Gilman six days ago as we take it. A lot of makeup games in fall. Like I said, we um, guys so they never will be a part of that. And, uh, the two games that's coming at you this week are part of makeup games, and then Clyde St. Francis will be a makeup day next week. They were supposed to go last Wednesday, did not. And we will have that game for you right here. Tight race in the red division in the uh, MIA conference with uh, Mount St. Joe's and St. Francis. Like they're gonna decide that at the end of the year. Lawyer Blakefield, Cuffley in third. Then Pilate trying to hold off uh, Linden Country. They look like they will, and Pilate will have a date with the top team in the uh, black division, which that will be boys' lap. That's how the playoff seedings are looking. Off the glass inside, miss, no good. Offensive rebound. Face it, pull up jumper. That goes. Little hits it. And cuts the lead to 18. Stanton back over to Brown, back over to Stanton. Jordan Toes. This is not apology, that was uh, West. That tip over the back, and then the ball back to uh, New Francis. Yes. yes. Oh. It's hoping. Hope. And they call a foul there. It is a 16 foul against St. Francis. One more. Mel Kelly shooting the one. So, like I said, indeed, we'll be back with you on the St. Francis next game against Boys Latin. We still have games this week with uh, Calvert Hall on the road. BCIMIA game. Senior night now be against Lawyer. What a big game that's going to be. We'll be back with them Sunday against Pilates. They still have Glendon Country and uh, Mount St. Joe's on the road. That's a three. That's a air ball. Stanton up the court. Slams it down as West. Stanton to Brown to West. It's been a good show here for Jamal West. He has improved every game of the season. That one missed. Murphy with the rebound back over to Brown. Busby for three. Air ball. West. Murphy throws it down. 64 42. 22 point lead. Oh, that's tomorrow. <laughs> 340 left in this one. St. Francis trying to wrap it up. Out of bounds. Two shot foul coming up, I believe, here from Alka. <laughs> Three thirty-five left in this one. They said St. Francis good enough for the night, the big matchup against Boys Latin. Come on. First shot in there. Sixty-four forty-three. 
second shot here coming up. Cut the lead back to 20. Mount Camo again. Yeah, re rebuilding. Some of their wins recent weeks have had some problems. So. That's a long distance to it. How about Mr. Stanton? Hitting it too. 66 43. That's a three from Perry. That one hits off the back. Miss. Brown brings it up. Brown off the screen from Baldwin. Swings it. That's a shot. No good there by Busby. We are in the most time. This one blocks from behind. That one didn't go. And a foul. And the way Stanton went down, that wasn't too pretty either. So off camera, we take it. Matt with the doctor again in order for the Panthers. Okay, in this one, we're going to take time. You don't want to see. He went. Kirsten, what happened? Oh, his face. Yeah. He went. He went face down. Oh, face. I thought he was face. Oh, All right, boy. Back in the game action, Stan was able to walk off on his own power. That, that is always good news. As Alexander's in the game, <laughs> two fifty left. <laughs> First shot goes in. Now for that one. Second shot, front end miss. Offensive rebound back over. Curry yeah, okay, fakes the three. You ain't bust out, D. Jump burn, no good. Launch a cue, and now over to Alexander. He brings it up. Bad it, turned over. There comes Malcolm. Back up. Trying to end this one strong. That's a three. Tipped and miss. Offensive rebound and a foul. Morrow is shooting two. Two A left in this one. Stinning the things up for you a little bit. You know, you're probably saying, what in the world is going on? Second shot does go. Alexander brings it up. Last two minutes left in this. St. Francis will win it. The question is the injury to the ace. Lost it almost. Morrow gets it back. Went inside, no good. The reversal, no good. Baldwin. Hey, Rose, you can't stand there. No help him. 
And that was Matt. Reset. 89 seconds left in this. That's a three for Mauro. Hits it. 66-49. Alexander gets it. Baldwin. Golden excuse me, back over to Alexander. That's a three. No good. Missed there by Smith. That's a three for Mauro. He hits again. Mauro hits two straight. Getting the score 66 to 52, respectable. St. Francis is going to win this one. They're going to go to 23 and 4, but the big issue will be the health of Adrian Baldwin. Let's see how that goes. We see St. Francis one more time again against Boys Latin. Biggest game in the history of Boys Latin program in the regular season coming up. We'll just see it here on the Dinosaur Network. We're going to dribble it out with Alexander. Oh, pulls back. Missed it. Save. Pick City. Layup, no good, and that'll do it. So that's your final. 52 66, St. Francis moves on to go to 23 and 4. And Mount Camel's going to drop to 7 and 17. So final score 66 52, St. Francis rolls. We will see you. Tomorrow, Tuesday on the Dice Sunday Network with our matchup. Boys Latin and St. Francis, a big one indeed. I think we've already hyped it up enough. You'll see that one coming up. Tomorrow's time, St. Salon TV. See you tomorrow at St. Francis. This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?